you too found out some news. Wanted to let you know, didn't feel like making a full video because editing would be a pain. So I'm doing it this way. I know it's not as good as quality. The other camera's not the greatest quality, but I don't have to edit it this way. And yes, the like I said, my update, my uh, DC movie lineup talk with my friend is coming. I have to edit that. We we talked for about an hour about all of the, all of this uh, lineup stuff. So I've got to edit through all of that, and I'm not the greatest editor ever. So it's taken me a while, plus with school, like I said in that update. I will be filming the Marvel one soon. The Marvel one may end up on the channel before the DC one, depending on if that one's shorter or not. I don't see it being really that much shorter, but... Right, so, Suicide Squad cast has been announced... And I'm not impressed and pretty disappointed, actually, with the lineup and the actors in the lineup. I And I was really, really looking forward to this movie, and now I'm just kind of like, I... Eh. Like, if this Suicide Squad isn't as good as the Suicide Squad in the Arrow TV show, there's a problem. So it's got it's got something to be compared against. We've seen a Suicide Squad team on Arrow. It's it's got to be better than that. And this is a movie compared to a TV show. So Right. So characters. Deadshot. Yes. Harley Quinn. Yes. Joker. What? Rick Flag. For at least for most people, I know who he is. But I'll talk about that in a minute. Captain Boomerang. Yes. Enchantress. What? We'll work backwards. Enchantress. Marvel character? Yes and no. DC has one, too. And I believe it's the same character in the Justice League animated series who was trying to get with Lex Luthor slash um, Gorilla Grodd, whoever was in charge of the Legion of Doom in that show and I just I don't think it's that great of a choice to put her the Enchantress on the Suicide Squad Marvel already has their Enchantress established in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. watch the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and you'll see the Enchantress because she, she hasn't been established in the cinematic universe but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. does tie into the cinematic universe, which is really cool, and I wish DC would have done that. They had plenty of shows. Well, actually, they had two shows to pick from just to tie into that universe on the CW, and they could have made the cinematic universe from there. So, yeah. Like, again, comparing TV show to a movie. If the TV... TV show is better than the movies got some problems. So in the Enchantress being on the Suicide Squad, I really would have preferred seeing like if you if you, you want to put another female character on there, like they could have picked Killer Frost, the Joker's daughter, characters that have like been on the Suicide Squad, not who are not like because the only other association I know with the Enchantress is Justice League Dark, and I don't. I just know she's on, she has something to do with them. So I really feel like putting her on the Suicide Squad is not necessary. Like I said, Joker's daughter or um, Killer Frost would have been a much better female choice. The actress, I don't know who she is. Um, Captain Boomerang. I think that's who I said before Enchantress. Um, staple on the Suicide Squad. So, yeah, I'm I'm okay with it. And the guy who's playing him is Australian, so then double, yeah, it, it works. Um, Rick Flagg, back to the um, Justice League animated series. He was on the Suicide Squad episode of that show where they took down the Watchtowers. So, yeah, Rick Flagg on the Suicide Squad, played by Tom Hardy. It's a Tom Hardy role. 
no one really knows the character, and Tom Hardy's not really going out of his comfort zone. So, yeah. I have two gripes about two of the characters, so I'm going to talk about the one who I don't really have a gripe with. Harley Quinn. All in the Suicide Squad. It makes sense. That's where she should be. Yay. The actress who's playing her? I don't know, but she's blonde. Harley Quinn's technically blonde when she has, you know, underneath of her... Well, when she wears the cap thing, she's blonde, and if, uh... If not, she's just... She dyes it, and in her standalone series, she just... She puts on a wig when she goes to work. Read the standalone Harley Quinn series, New 52. It's really good, really funny. And Harley Quinn's a badass. So, yeah. And she's a badass in the Suicide Squad. Next person! That's on the Suicide Squad that I don't care for to be on the Suicide Squad. Same kind of grape as the Enchantress. Um, the Joker! Why? He's not Suicide Squad material. You can't put him on the Suicide Squad! He is crazy! You cannot give crazy a focused job! He won't do it. Tell him his brain's gonna explode if he doesn't. He's not gonna care. He's crazy. I feel like I should take off my glasses because the glare. I don't know. I can still see. So. And I do wear contacts, so. Yeah. But it doesn't work. He doesn't work on the Suicide Squad, and the reason they're putting him on the Suicide Squad is to create a love triangle between Deadshot, Harley Quinn, and him. Ugh. Oh, I was hoping for like an action movie. I don't, I don't need a love triangle inside of an action movie. And it's a pointless tri love triangle too, because Harley Quinn is obsessed with the Joker. So given the choice between someone and the Joker, she's always going to pick the Joker. Abusive relationship or not. She's crazy obsessed. She kind of can't help it. She'll see him, kiss him, and then beat him up. That's how her, that's how her relationship goes. She's now kind of started fighting back against him, but it's still an abusive relationship. That she can never really escape, no matter how long she goes without seeing Mr. J. So, <laughs> bad Harley Quinn impression, yeah, sorry. So it, just, it doesn't make any sense. They they literally just put him on there to do that, and it doesn't make any sense. So, yeah. I'm already like this for the movie. The guy that's playing the Joker, Jared Leto, I believe he got like Best Supporting Actor in, in the Oscars for a Byers, Dallas Buyers Club. I haven't seen the movie. I've never really seen anything he's in. But, I mean, he got an Oscar. So, I, I guess that makes him a pretty good actor. I kind of would have... I don't... For me, the Joker's kind of about the voice. And, like, I'm very partial to Mark Hamill as the Joker. And I don't think... The only other person's Joker voice who I think is even comparable to Mark Hamill, is Troy Baker, the one that does um, the Joker's voice for Arkham Origins. And I think he, he's done it for something else, too. But he, he's the only other person that's had, like, really good Joker voice. Heath, Leather, Heath Ledger's Joker was good, but it was because he played the anarchist Joker really well. And it, like it wasn't he didn't have the voice necessarily but it but he worked it off with the acting and I and I don't know if this Jared Leto can actually do that and that was my to be totally honest that was a gripe that I had with the Joker in the Dark Knight I didn't like his voice because I've always I've always you know Mark Hamill's Joker is what I know so, yeah. Now, 
Last person. Deadshot. Played by Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith playing Deadshot. I like Will Smith. I really do. I would love to see him actually, you know, like start acting again and stop trying to promote his children, his talentless children. He's got talent, they don't. It doesn't always work that way. He should stop trying to force us to like his children. It's not going to happen. And, yeah, it's... I don't see Will Smith as a bad guy. These are all bad guys. These are all really bad people that have done really bad things to end up in jail, to end up on the Suicide Squad. I don't see Will Smith as a bad guy. I really don't. And then there's the glaring thing the glaring fact that Deadshot's never been betrayed as an African American and then just kind of all of a sudden the cinematic movie who's saying they're basing themselves off the new 52 is just changing an ethnicity that doesn't make any sense if you're going to say you're basing everything off the new 52 why would you just randomly kind of change the ethnicity of a character like, if DC really had something to do with this, they could have, in the Future's End comic that started not too long ago, they could have made changes to the characters. It's the Future's End. They can... Like, it was a new it was a new universe for DC to play with. So they could have, you know, made these changes. But they didn't. So just randomly changing the ethnicity... Ethnicity is... Kind of like... Kind of... I don't know kind of counterproductive to, like, trying to draw people to the movie. Like, if you wanted Will Smith to play a badass bad guy, black man as a really good badass bad guy, who fights for black rights? I don't know if anyone actually knows that. Black mana wants, like, like tries to take over Atlantis so he can bring black people to Atlantis. So black people do not have to live with white people anymore. That's like black mana's, like, thing. Not necessarily all the time, but that's, that's like one of the things that he tries to do. Black man is a pretty cool, badass, bad guy. And I don't think it's... I don't think it's racist to cast a black guy as a black character. I just think that makes sense. Cha randomly changing the ethnicity, ethnicity of an established character. They made Superman black. In, um, Earth 2. They made Superman black. So, I mean, I don't think anyone's really griping about that. I'm sure someone is, you know, hold out comic book racist. Again, Superman's not black. Some guy reading this comic god damn superman's not black something like that but like if they done that and then you know based the character choice like the actor choice off that character that's cool marvel did it they created the ultimate universe based same nick fury off samuel L. jackson so samuel L. jackson would play nick fury and it worked and they did it and it's cool nick fury's Samuel L. Jackson is awesome as Nick Fury. But they didn't do that with Deadshot. And they just kind of randomly changed the ethnicity. And then there's still the, the two people on the Suicide Squad that don't make any sense. Enchantress and Joker. As I, as I, you know, I read the Suicide Squad. I have all the ones that are current. I, I might be missing the fourth one because it might have, like, came out this month. And I haven't gone to my comic book shop to pick it up, but like I, I I'm caught up, you know. So replace. I would have liked to see 
like Killer Frost or Joker's daughter. Not that I really like the Joker's daughter in the Suicide Squad. It's really useless and it's stupid to have her on there when you have Harley Quinn. So I don't like, but she would. She's at least you know been on the Suicide Squad. So putting her or Killer Frost would have been a much better choice than Enchantress. And you know, there's plenty of other people besides the Joker that would have been really cool. So, you know, take the Joker away, put Black Mana on, put Black Mana in the Suicide Squad, put Joker's daughter in for Enchantress, and, you know, you have that tension between Harley Quinn and Joker's daughter. So there's your tension for the, like, inside the team. It would have made better sense, I think, instead of putting, like, forcing a love triangle into the movie that doesn't need to be there. It's just... Oh, and Oprah might be playing um, Amanda Waller, which is, yeah, that's cool. I, I, I hope. I really hope that um, Oprah can be mean enough. Like, this, like, the whole... Like, Oprah being Amanda Waller is the same thing I see as, like, with Will Smith being Deadshot, whereas in He's not, I don't see him as a bad guy, and I've never, I can't see her as a bad guy. So, I mean, yeah, so this casting kind of has, you know, really brought me down on this movie. I mean, I still, I really, I still have high hopes. I still think it, I still hope it's really good. And if you're all wondering why I don't want Death, Sh Death Stroke, my main man, in the Suicide Squad is because I think he could actually have a really badass standalone movie. I, or you know, if they were gonna do a Teen Titans movie, he would, you know, hopefully be in that. But yeah, so my thoughts about the Suicide Squad, the uh, casting and lineup and stuff. Um, comment below about who you would have liked to see in the Suicide Suicide Squad and who you would have liked the actor to be. You know, for those, like, seven of you that watch this video. <laughs> Please, uh, comment below, like the video. Let me, also let me know if you prefer me doing actual videos where I, like, ha you know, edit them, production, stuff like that, or just, you know, webcam it. So, yeah. Catch YouTube later.